The left isn't too happy today after First Lady Melania Trump hosted their special guest at the White House and even took them into the Oval Office. After seeing who her visitor was, the left became unhinged, and the reaction speaks volumes. Melania Trump had a special guest at the White House, left, who she took to meet President Donald Trump, right photo. Credit Twitter, too, liberals seem to be focused on attacking President Donald Trump in any way they can these days. Seeing how the investigation into so-called Russian collusion and their desperate attempts at gun control have both failed, it's time to go back to what they do best, whining. Unfortunately, we've seen proof that this is still the case as recently as yesterday. After Melania Trump invited a special someone to the White House, the left has lost their collective mind yet again. In fact, there are a few pictures showing the guest in the Oval Office that have caused liberals to become unhinged. Divorce, they immediately went on the attack like a vicious mob, all the while throwing a tantrum like children. As the world has seen for the past several weeks, the left has recruited the help of the children who survived the Florida school shooting, electing to feature only those who were anti-gun and openly calling for gun control. It was clear that they were using these kids as political props. This was exposed when they turned away those who could hurt the gun control narrative. Too bad for liberal networks like CNN and MSNBC, some of the kids they turned away have managed to capture quite a bit of the spotlight anyway. Take for instance, Colton Harb, a junior ROTC student who exposed CNN for scripting questions set to be asked at the town hall with Marco Robbio. However, he's not alone. In fact, Kyle Kashav has recently begun to make waves after he called out CNN's favorite little pet, David Hogg. Calling Hogg extremely counterproductive, Kashav ripped into his classmate on television. The president calls Hogg, and it shows he wants to make a change, and you're talking about bipartisan change and... The one man who leads our nation comes to you and says, let's do something, let's make it happen, and you hang up on him, Kashav said, according to Fox News. You hang up on him and brag about it on national television. It's extremely counterproductive, Kashav furthered while speaking with Martha McCallum. That's not all the attention that Kyle Kashav has been getting. In fact, he was most recently invited to the White House. While there, he spent some time with Melania Trump who eventually even took him on a tour of the Oval Office and to meet with President Donald Trump. As one would imagine, Kashad was more than excited and has since posted a few pictures on social media, which were also seen on Mail Online. Was the great meeting at Flotus and at POTUS at Real Donald Trump. The true patriots. Thank you at Kellyanne Pearls, I owe you to the world, he tweeted with the images. Was the great meeting at Flotus and at POTUS at Real Donald Trump. The true patriots. Thank you at Kellyanne Pearls, I owe you to the world pig.twitter.com slash j3 fave j6 Carl Kashav a Carl Kashav March 8 2018 even Melania Trump shared some images and a video from their exchange as well wonderful to meet at Carl Kashav today his message of unity is one we should all share thank you for visiting us at the White House wonderful to meet at Carl Kashav today his message of unity is one we should all share thank you for visiting us at the White House pic.twitter.com slash k4ag the one ux melania trump at flotis march 8 2018 hearten to see children affected by tragedy using their voices to try and create change wonderful to meet and speak with stoneman douglas high school student at kyle kashav today at the Ed white house his message of unity inspires us all hearten to see children affected by tragedy using their voices to try and create change Wonderful to meet and speak with Stoneman Douglas High School student at Kyle Kashav today at the Ed White House. His message of unity inspires us all. Coming out of the woodwork, they whined about the visit and hypocritically accused President Trump, Melania, and even the gop of using kids for political purposes. Yes, inviting David Hogg to anything and everything is okay, but giving Kyle Kashav a voice is condemned as politicizing the situation. Photo ops and bragging does not produce gun control legislation. Let's see you do that, Anne Rudich. Anne Rudich, March 9, 2018. Oh brother. I roll. Jeremy Vine. At this my show, March 8, 2018. I see that the conservative student from Douglas gets to meet with 
you guys but not so much any of the other students who are actually asking for change to our gun laws. Why am I not surprised? From Douglas gets to meet with you guys but not so much any of the other students who are actually asking for change to our gun laws. Why am I not surprised? He hung up on the president and bragged about it, remember? Some responses from the left were so bad. That Twitter didn't just delete the comments, they even temporarily banned the people who wrote them entirely. Liberal comments were so harsh that Twitter banned some users, photo credit, screenshot, Twitter, these complainers either conveniently forgot. Or hope that we don't know about the fact that David Hogg won't speak to President Trump. I want to say that Trump is playing favorites, but he's not the one parading children in front of cameras, helping them spew his agenda, that's CNN when it comes to kids like Hogg. All Trump wanted to do was take a little time out of his busy day to meet with a brave survivor of a school shooting, and that's what he did. No politics, no bragging, no scripted rants, just time spent together.